Gentlemen, Antonio here. Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about scent and mate selection. Basically, how women perceive a man's scent. This is based off a 2008 study. Uh, it popped up, where was it? Over at the Personality and Individual Difference Journal. It's a European journal. And what I really like about this study is they checked out, or basically they worked with over 700 individuals. They were, yeah, European students, but they measured eight different things on you know what and they had men versus women looking at okay men rate this this is the sense that they most care about here and this is what women care about and the six senses yes there were six um, they used visual auditory olfactory taste touch and imagination and the olfactory guys may have just killed the pronunciation but basically smell and so what they looked at, the eight uh, different things, they looked at choosing a potential lover. They looked at sexual arousal before and after. They looked at sexual arousal during. Uh, number four, they looked at meal choice. Number five, uh, things that attract attention more with landscape. They also, things that cause us to remember things, again, more with landscape and memories for, you know, when do we pick up on things. Uh, number seven, they looked at flowers. Uh, what, what do we think about, what do we, do we use visual? Do we use smell? How do we, you know, remember flowers? And then when it comes to pet selection, which I didn't really know why they threw that one in there, but it was pretty well rounded. And I think for most of us, we're going to be very interested in, okay, you know, what comes down to choosing a potential lover? What do women care about? What do men mostly care about? These are the things. And, and what's cool is that they weren't the same thing. And I think that's really important for us to understand as men. We look at the world as men, we are men. Uh, but that there's a little bit of you know blindness in that because we fail to see what more than half the population sees or smells in this case. And for us, fragrance, in fact, 80% of men do not wear fragrance on a normal basis. Honestly, and I'm one of those 80%, it's simply because we've grown up thinking, does it really matter? Honestly, why would I spend 50 bucks, 100 bucks for a bottle of fragrance that I'm never gonna use, doesn't really make a difference, no one notices, and I'm at risk at using it the wrong way and it's gonna overpower people. Guys, if you're interested in fragrance, if things like this you find pretty cool, make sure to go down to the link below the article. I've got a little question here that you can fill out. And when I when you do that, I'm actually going to put you on a list because I've got a series of fragrances coming out that are going to be based off scientific research. Now, let's get into the research. So, like I said, they looked at eight things, and I think you guys are most interested in choosing a potential lover, right? So, what did they find out? Men, very visual. That's really no surprise. I mean, we always are looking at, okay, we look at the skin, we look at the shape, and if the proportion, skin, face is good, boom, we are zeroed in, locked in. But with women, guess what? Visual was not number one. It was smell. It was, you know, it, it was body smell. That was the number one thing that they rated. Again, they almost had a thousand, uh, a thousand people that they checked this on, and that's what they came out with. Okay, so let's talk about sexual arousal before and after. Again, for men, it's visual. You notice how we've got like a little bit of a, a trend going here. Now, for women, it was imagination. You know, we've heard this. Women need, they're more romantic or they need to be, you know, romanticized. They need to be, there needs to be a story with this. There needs, it's more, it's about their mind, not so much the visual in the body. Now, it's, I guess, great for some of us uh, because, hey, if we don't have the best body, if we, you know, although I talk about, you know, it is important and they have these uh, six senses rated in order. I'm just talking usually about the first one, unless the other ones are really close. So let's talk about sexual arousal during uh, sex. Okay, so again, men are visual. With women, though, and this is where it gets interesting, there were a number of ones that were up there at the top. So, touch was number one. Uh, number two was body smell. Uh, after that was imagination, and then after that was actually sound, sexual sounds uh, to be specific. Okay, so Notice visual wasn't in there, gentlemen. So the point I'm trying to make with these first three ones, which I, were the ones I think most of you guys came here to watch the video for, is that men are visual. I mean, they have shown this in the data. Women, it's gonna be a lot more about the smell, it's gonna be a lot more about the touch, and a lot more about the imagination. Okay, so meal choice, interesting here, is for both 
both of us, it was taste, men and women, taste was most important. Uh, when it came to, to actually remembering things, and uh, whether it be a memory about a landscape or grabbing our attention, visual was actually you know true for both of us. Although women, smell was also important. Notice how it popped up. It was not, smell was not number one, it was number two. Uh, memories, it's gonna be visual for both of us. Flowers, it was gonna be visual and smell right there with flowers was right underneath. For us, it was much lower down uh, down there. So, and then for pets, visual for both of us, although for women, touch was very high right underneath the visual. So, what can we take from all of this? That women care about smell a lot more than we do. And in fact, they have a much more complex understanding. Whenever they would expose people to smells, men could not identify the smells as well, or they would say they don't really smell anything. Women would get into the particular details. I think overall, they've developed a better understanding, and we, I've seen this with color as well. Uh, a man sees the color blue, women, they see you know 10 variations of the color blue, and they're able to actually name them. I, I know my daughters, what do they follow? Strawberry Shortcake, and one of the characters named Periwinkle. I had no idea that was a variation of, I think, blue. So things like that, they they pick up, I think, at a pretty early age. Yes, you know, it's a little bit, you know, pigeonholing people, but guys, you know, this is statistically what they found in there. So if you take anything from this, understand that oftentimes fragrance isn't just about you, it's about those around you, and it can have a very strong effect, not only on potential partners, but your existing partner. If you want to spice things up with your wife, spice things up with that, you know, person you've been in a relationship with for a decade consider bringing in fragrance. And to that extent, again guys, in the article down below, I'm gonna to link to it, and I'm also gonna have a link to a basic little form you can fill out. I have a series of fragrances that are gonna be coming out. They're all scientifically based. We're gonna be working with men to help identify the fragrance, which best enhances their natural smell and to help them get conditioned to using it. Because if you've got the tools, it doesn't really matter unless you actually use them. That's it guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.